So, did you see the stock market perform yesterday? Now, this video is being filmed on a Friday. I'm talking about Thursday, November 10th. The stock market was on Red Bull, okay? The Dow Jones was up over a thousand points. The NASDAQ was almost up 700 points. It was beautiful. So let's talk about that today. I'm gonna to be talking with you guys about some of the investing goals we were able to meet this week. And I'm going to be just giving you some updates about what's coming on the channel. If you wanna know more, stay tuned. <music> My name is Shalice, also known as Mommy Trader here on YouTube. Hey, investy besties, welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank y'all so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here, my oldies, my newbies, everybody in between. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We're on that journey to 10 thousand subscribers and I really cannot do it without all of you so thank you for subscribing for sharing for shouting the channel out I mean all of the stuff truly I thank you guys so much um and I am just excited about the progress we have been making I do share real numbers if you're new my name is Shalice I'm a mother and a wife but I'm addicted to investing and wealth building check out my playlist if you're new you can kind of get like caught uh, this video is also being premiered earlier today because I am going on a date with the hubs and I really am excited about like the escape room. I don't know if you guys have escape rooms where you are, but I love escape rooms like a lot. I, I just love them. I love thinking and trying to figure out how to get out and all of that. And the kids also love them as well. But this would be just for my husband and myself and just to get some good food. But before I get into the details of the video, because this won't be a long video today, I just want to come with some updates. So First off, remember guys, if you are doing the $1 a day investing challenge, we have been doing this challenge for over a whole year, just to encourage you guys with small amounts, $1 a day, if you're going through a drive-thru, if you're getting Starbucks coffee and you're going out to eat, you can afford to put $1 a day towards your future so that you don't have to rely on social security, you know, or anything like that. You can have a war chest um, supporting you in your later years. So our pick for November was Amazon, which is great because I know some of you guys already have made Amazon purchases um, and I know you plan on buying Amazon stuff you know come Black Friday okay so let's let's we're gonna play offense and defense with our finances I'm um, also am doing the full shares investing challenge over with Moomoo Moo. so if you want to know more about what Moomoo Moo is I will have a direct link to the video where I talked about it down in the description box below um, and finally thank you guys so much to all of you who have signed up for the 2023 financial slash money goals workshop and thank you so much for the wonderful feedback I really wanted to create something that again I wish I had when I started I wanted to buy a house. I wanted to pay off debt. I wanted to invest. I wanted to have these goals, but I had no one guys, literally my husband and I had no one we could bounce this off of. A financial advisor was going too deep for us. And then we had family who really was negative and discouraging. And we really wanted to run our goals and our ideas past someone who would be honest but understanding and non-judgmental. And I wanted to create a space where many of you could have that. If you are thinking like, Shalice, I wanna buy a house next year. I wanna save $10,000 for a down payment. Is that too much? Is that not enough? What else should I be thinking about? This is what my, you know, my plan is. Is it realistic, Shalice? This is what I created this workshop and so um, if you want to share a financial goal and like four tidbits about yourself so that we can kind of give you know some decent feedback uh, once you sign up send me an email and I will send you the template so that you can put everything in you can be anonymous or you can be on camera um, you can share audio whatever the your choice is maybe you just want to hang out in the chat and just intend for motivation and encouragement to get some ideas on what you want your goals to be whatever it is this is an opportunity for us to get together on November 20th two hours bring a snack bring a drink and we want to really hash it out about how to create financial goals, give feedback on your goals and help you to create realistic kind of steps to achieve them. Will it be like super detailed? No, because we have a lot of people to get through. But again, feedback is feedback. And again, it's something I wish I had when I started. Let's talk a little bit about today. So <laughs> yesterday I was out Christmas shopping and I was getting all of these DMs. If you do not follow me over on Instagram, make sure you do. Direct link is down below. And I was getting some emails and I was like, Shalice, they were like, Shalice, are you looking at the stock market? And I'm out shopping. I'm in Marshalls and just Ross and just hanging out trying to get Christmas presents and all of that. So I'm like, no, because usually I am not on my phone when I'm in the stores. I really try to be 
like aware of my surroundings and I suggest you guys do the same thing. But I was like, no, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not looking at the stock market. I don't know what's going on. So I said, once I got back to the car, let me just pull up my phone and see what's going on. I could have dropped my phone when I saw that the Dow Jones was up over a thousand points, like a thousand points. You have to understand if you are an investor and so far this year, the market has been terrible. So to see the Dow Jones, for example, which is a major index in the stock market, go up 1,000 points in one day was like seriously one for the record books. And of course, I'm sitting in the car going to CNBC and I'm going to Uncle Larry's channel. I'm just all over the internet, like what's going on? And I saw that the CPI inflation data came out. So it's like inflation came down a little bit. So remember guys, the Fed is looking to see if all of the Fed hikes and all of the tightening that they're doing, is it working? And they're starting to see, or that data showed them like, okay, people are starting to slow down with their spending. And why that was big for the stock market is that a lot of people were looking for the sign of the turning of the tide. Now we still got a long way to go to come back to where we were in January of this year. Remember, we are still down a whole lot, but you know how everybody is saying you can't time the market? Well, the market still tries to time it, okay? And when they saw that inflation was coming down a bit, that was the sign. Like, okay, the bottom is near. We still got a long way to go to come back, but we're looking for the bottom and the bottom is near to get all of the companies and all of the funds that we really, really love. I've been preaching about Amazon being under $100 for months, Google for months, Disney for months, all of these great funds, O Realty Income, VTI, all of these companies at great prices for months. And now you're starting to see like, are we shifting? Is the tide turning? Are we near the bottom? Because now the stock market sees, okay, there's sun on the horizon. And as an investor for myself, I was really, I was really excited because I've been investing consistently through this entire year. I mean, you can say a whole lot of things about MT, but one thing you cannot say is that she is not consistent. Girlfriend, me, your investy bestie, I'm on it on these videos because I want you guys to see through the ups and through the downs. If you are buying and holding and what? Good and safe companies and funds, the market always comes back. So I was like crazy, crazy excited. And I was really more excited that so many of you were reaching out. Like, Shalise, do you see the market? Do you see the market? <laughs> so yes, everybody's accounts was doing really nice yesterday and I'm happy to see it. Again, knowing we still have a long way to come back, but now we can see like, I think we're near the bottom somewhere. There's a recession coming, yes, but I want the bottom so I can get the best companies I can for a great price. Moving on, so we did hit some share goals this week, so I'm a creature of habit. If you've been watching my channel, if you are new to the channel, please know that I will say the same thing over and over again to you start saying it to yourself. Build up your share sizes, build up your share sizes. I am a dividend investor. D dividends help me to stay motivated during this journey. And I've been talking about building up the, for this week, realty income, okay? We were so close to 200 shares. I think we started off the week at 175. We did achieve 200 shares of realty income in our interactive brokers account. So woohoo, we really, really did that. Um, SCHD, I have my notes right here. We achieved 165 shares um, in SCHD. And I bought, let me tell you, okay, let me, hold on, let me back it up. Let me back it up, okay? I bought the rest of these shares on Wednesday. So if you watch the stock market, the stock market actually closed down, what, 600 points? I bought this Wednesday. The stock market rallied over 1,000 points, the Dow Jones anyway, the next day. So that means I bought the rest of Realty Income, I bought the rest of SCHD, and I bought the rest of the JEPI to get to our share size goals when the market was red. And we already have a gain on those shares because I bought when the market was red, okay? So 200 of Realty Income in, in, in this interactive broker's account, um, which is not a dividend account, but again, we have to have like safe companies in every portfolio because we don't want volatility kind of dragging everything down, which is why I'm a big fan of diversification. Never just invest all in one company. If you're going to invest all of your money in one thing, let it be VTI. That's the safest, most conservative, fund on the market and everybody talks about it. Uh, Uncle Larry, Graham Stephan, I mean, anybody who you want to think about, they always say that VTI is probably the best 
fund on the stock market and it's super super duper safe over 4,000 companies I mean you can't go wrong with over 4,000 companies inside of one fund um but we wanted to put some here so yeah 200 shares of realty income there you'll see screenshots 165 shares of SCHD so I'm really I'm happy the short-term goal for this is 200 and then Jeffy 365 shares and we have a dividend paying in Jeffy get this y'all for over two hundred dollars, I could have fell out of my chair. I so I showed my husband. I said, "Look at this! Look at this, honey." He said, "What?" I said, "Look at this. Jeffy paid out, and it's over two hundred dollars." And we still have a whole bunch of other dividends pending and coming in for November. But I was like, two hundred dollars at one company. This is why we build up our share sizes. Again, I, I simple, practical investing tips. Right? That's all I can say. Keep it simple build 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 and i'm telling you every time you get your payments if you are a dividend investor the dividend just gets bigger so you're getting growth and you're getting dividends on the back end so those were the three milestones we were able to reach i'll talk more on sunday about like our next steps for those so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe like and share if you want to sign up again for that financial goals workshop information is down below you can get your investing challenge tracker as well but again thank you guys so much and you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.